Ever wondered what comes after our blazing fast computers? Meet quantum computing, a mind-bending new frontier. Our everyday machines use bits, simple zeros or ones. Today we're diving into the basics of how quantum computers work. Specifically, we'll uncover the magic of qubits and superposition. Get ready to see how they change everything. Think of a classical bit like a light switch. It's either on, representing one, or off, representing zero. Simple, right? Now imagine a quantum bit or qubit. This glowing sphere can be zero, one, or even both at the same time. This incredible ability is called superposition. Superposition lets a qubit be in multiple states all at once. It's like a coin spinning in the air before it lands as it heads or tails. It's actually both. A qubit can exist as zero and one, each with a probability. But here's the kicker. When you measure a qubit, the superposition collapses. Just like our coin finally landing, it picks either zero or one definitively. So what happens when you measure a qubit in superposition? That's right. It collapses to a definite zero or one. Why is this so powerful? Imagine solving problems many times faster. Quantum computers can revolutionize drug discovery, finding new materials, and even supercharge artificial intelligence. This exponential power tackles challenges impossible for classical computers. So we learned about qubits, the quantum version of a bit, and superposition, their amazing ability to be zero and one at the same time. By harnessing these quantum effects, these machines can process information in ways we've never imagined. Quantum computing is still emerging, but it promises a future of incredible breakthroughs. Keep exploring the quantum realm.